Hi everyone, this is Vlad from Modulus Render and in today's tutorial we're going to talk about lighting and some of the materials in this scene made with SketchUp and Thea Render. Now this is the scene in SketchUp. It's a simple room with a little bit of furniture, some plants, a very minimal design um, where I wanted to focus on the quality of the light and this dark wood material and the velvet of course. So I'm going to talk a little bit about how I did the materials and how I set up the render to get uh, the lighting I wanted. Let's just start the render and see what we have. Now this is what we have with the default settings from Thea and it's not looking very good. So let's look at the settings and see what we can do to make the scene look better lit. First of all, let's go to environment and we're going to go to manual sun change the color of the sun to white so you have a nice white lighting and then we're gonna turn on soft shadows and let's see how that affects the overall look maybe five I want really soft shadows and very bright lighting in this scene so let's turn it up to 10 the soft shadows and this whole bluish tint is coming from the sky, so in Thea we can just toggle the sky on and off. So we're going to turn the sky off and then I'm going to use image-based lighting with a color applied to it. And the color will be white. And then we have like a dome uh, lighting the whole scene. Uh, with the sun. The intensity of the dome, let's just set it to maybe three, see how it looks. This is starting to look a lot better. Uh, now from the exposure settings, I'm going to turn on filmic exposure. Bring the highlights maybe 60 percent and then ISO 400 looks a lot better this is the basic setup I use now from here if I want the lighting to be brighter or darker I just use the shutter maybe a hundred you know to make it brighter or leave it at around 200 or 250 for the default value but this is maybe 250 maybe it's too bright this is what I want in my scene and especially I'm looking at the type of shadows I get so it looks okay still a little bit dark but better now the velvet material has nothing applied to it just the texture and a little bump so let's see how it looks and how we can make it look a little bit better Now this is the velvet material with color and bump, just 1%. I'm going to turn on the material editor. And the only thing we're going to do to this uh, velvet material is mix it with a procedural map. And the procedural map will be Fresnel Ramp. We can already see the effect that has on the texture. But instead of the uh, Fresnel reflectance, the, the ramp type, 
we're going to put it to linear increasing. Which basically means that it's not a radial gradient. It's uh, a linear gradient from dark to white. And from here, the low color, we can make it a little bit brighter. So it's not that dark. Or it's not completely black on the velvet. Maybe a gray. Let's check this material on the chair too, because it's the same velvet material. And it's looking pretty good. Let's take a look at the floor material. We have a concrete floor with uh, a roughness map attached to it. So we have these uh, splotchy places or spots where it's a little bit shinier than the rest. And that all comes from the roughness map. It's looking pretty good. Now the, the one thing I, I add are some extra lights. And I call these lights uh, light planes. I have uh, these light planes on a layer that look like these. So it's basically a deformed plane that I put on the outside of the windows and on the inside. I put them on the inside also because I need more samples on the inside so I get a faster render and a cleaner render, if that makes sense. And I tilt them so it mimics a little bit the sun that is coming in through the windows. And the material on these light planes is a really bright light, 15,000 watts. Oops. And the object is invisible in the render. I ticked off visible to camera, visible to reflections, and took out shadows also. And these are the, the final touch I use in uh, my renderings in Thea Render. There are also four of them over here, maybe too far away, but they're put there to amplify the, the light coming in from these two uh, openings. Now let's look at the finished product to see the difference of, um, or the influence of these plane lights in the final render. Now this is the final camera shot that I want, and this is with the light planes on, and let me just turn them off so you can see the difference. And this is with the light planes off. It's a little bit darker, as you can see. And the shadows are a lot darker. So these light planes help me make mm, a lot softer shadows. And they help me brighten up the interior and render it faster because of the extra samples. Let me just turn them on again and see the difference. Now you see with the light planes on, the interior is a lot brighter and the shadows are not that dark. And it's looking pretty good. And this is the result that I was looking for and very well lit interior with a bright white light and very soft shadows. Now if you found this information useful, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and I'll see you in the next tutorial.